Okay. Okay, so we're here with Josh Molkaloy. We can talk about the pug. This is kind of his favorite board. It's sort of general purpose board that he rides. Josh, why don't you tell everybody about this thing? Why did you like it? Um, well, for one, it's shorter than my normal short board, and it paddles better than my normal short board. And it's pretty much the most user-friendly board you could ever ride. You stand there and go straight, and the thing goes 100 miles an hour. And um, at the same time, it draws really good, clean lines. And uh, I, I just think that if you don't have one in your in your quiver, you're pretty much blowing it. Like, you could show them the way it's going to be one foot, and you can end up going out and having the time of your life, where on your other board you'd be struggling. How big is this thing? This one's 5'7". So the way it is that you order these boards is, generally go about an eighth of an inch wider, five inches shorter than your normal everyday board, and this becomes your daily driver. This board will work better in crappy surf. This is definitely a great for a board. board. Um, and you order it five inches shorter, four, uh, eight inches wider. Same thing. But at the same time, I've ridden this board in incredible surf, and it works good. So it's not necessarily just for bad waves, it's like all around works and everything. The pug generally comes as a five set, so I'd ride it as a tri or as a quad. Stock is with a swallow, but you can get them with bats, you can get them with diamonds, squash tail, whatever you want. You can also get these as strictly quads or strictly tries, whichever way it is you'd like to have it.